Hi, welcome to Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. We've been back home for a little while and we decided to put together a portfolio of our work. Some aerial photography and some uh, architectural photography. It's a great time of year to get out and do some shots for buildings. Skies are nice and clear. It's great for flying and get some aerial shots for buildings. It's Victoria Park. This is from many years ago. Downtown Kitchener sure undergoing a lot of changes with the light rail and the new buildings. Lots of glass. It's really changing from the way it used to be. Speaking of the way it used to be, here's the corduroy road that was excavated in Waterloo. We've got some wonderful photographs of that if you would like to buy one for your office walls. Downtown Kitchener, the parking garage there was the first commercial photo shoot I ever did when I was in high school. Kitchener's really growing up. I love getting in the air over the city and photographing the buildings. I'm able to use different lenses and high resolution, get different positions. Waterloo downtown. I like to use extreme lenses sometimes like 7 millimeters and 600 millimeters. Try and get unusual features of the buildings. Kitchener City Hall is quite a landmark. The Barrel Works in Waterloo. Unbelievable architecture, really good use of the space. Office interiors. Something a little unusual here. Now we're in Toronto photographing some buildings, some of the glass skyscrapers. Building interiors really present a challenge sometimes, a little bit of mist in the air, sun life. In Cambridge, some of the buildings are used in movie sets. It's pretty amazing, the castle sort of things and churches, stonework. We photograph lots of nice estates commercial buildings. It's the high-tech industrial basin in Waterloo. Lots of up-and-comers here. The future of Kitchener and Waterloo are with Big Tech. The Perimeter Institute was one of the first high-tech buildings built here as far as I can remember. It's a very unusual building, new architectural style. Still it fits in with the surroundings. Here's one of the roundabouts in the high tech mall. We like to make sure we get a nice clear day with not too many shadows. Photographing properties on the ground and from the air really makes a good presentation. Sunset reflected on the glass of these buildings is just amazing. It's wonderful, magical. We're able to get some fine detail on the buildings by using long lenses and filters. Headshots. Executive portraits are an essential part of any advertising campaign, print, media, or on the web. Sunsets, wow, sometimes they're just amazing. When I'm walking along early in the morning, I see the GO trains. This is a stadium in Guelph. The Griffins, I believe. Guelph Griffins, I believe. Some amazing churches. Look at that architecture. That's, I think it's just wonderful. All the masonry, it's just wonderfully done. The windows and the spires. 
Now we're back to Kitchener, Prudential Towers. Downtown Kitchener. King Street sure has undergone a lot of changes. The new City Hall, that was quite a feat when they put up the City Hall. Hospital. And these wonderful bridges across the Grand River. Fantastic architecture, modern architecture and the old architecture blended in. Kitchener City Hall, wow. Sun Life. Once again, I can overemphasize the importance of good quality executive portraits to show off your business. This is a unique kind of business. This gentleman has a service where they'll pick you up by limo fly you where you want to go, take your team in for a meeting and get you back home the same day. They can get you closer to the meeting and you save on airfare and you save on hotel accommodations, you get everything done in one day. And a good quality executive portrait combines the character of the person as well as the character of their job to present a complete concept. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe.